Good day everyone. This presentation is all about the historical antecedents in which social consideration changed the course of science and technology. In this presentation, we have to learn first the objectives. And these objectives are the students will know what science, technology, and society is, identify the rule of science and technology, see the development of science and technology in the Philippines, and lastly, identify which era contributes more to the development of science and technology in the Philippines. And now, let's proceed to what is science. Science is the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. Science is a knowledge about or study of the natural world based on the facts learned through experiments and observations. And what is technology? Two Greek words transliterated techni and logos. Techni means art, skill, craft, or the way manner or means by which a thing is gained. Technology is a science or knowledge put into practical use to solve problems or invent useful tools. We create technology to fill a void, need, or want. What does science, technology, and society mean? Science, Technology, and Society Studies, or STS, is the study of how society, politics, and culture affect scientific research and technological innovation and how this in turn affect society, politics, and culture. Science and technology in the Philippines describe scientific and technological progress made by the Philippines and analysis-related policy issues. The main agency responsible for managing science and technology is the Department of Science and Technology or DOST. How is science used in technology? First, scientists use technology in all their experiments. Second, new knowledge which serves as a direct source of ideas for new technological possibilities. Third, source of tools and techniques for more efficient engineering design and a knowledge base for evaluation of feasibility of designs. Fourth, research instrumentation, laboratory techniques, and analytical methods used in research. Lastly, practice of research as a source for development and assimilation of new human skills and capabilities, eventually useful for technology. The Role of Science and Technology Alter the way people live, connect, communicate, and transact with profound effects on economic development. Key drivers to development, products are transforming business practices across the economy, as well as the lives of all who have access to the effects of the power to better the lives of poor people in developing countries. Different theaters between countries that are able to tackle poverty effectively by growing and developing their economies and those that are not. And lastly, engine of growth. This picture shows how the science and technology and society works. So the science will seek to improve more information and demanded to the technology to make our life easier and our society will be benefited from it and demands it even more to the science and it all in all it will work as a cycle as it is and besides on that the science and technology in the philippines had experienced periods of intense growth as well as long periods of stagnation the main managing agency responsible for science and technology is the Department of Science and Technology. So when the pre-Spanish era enters, even before the colonization by the Spaniards in the Philippine Islands, the natives of the archipelago already had practices linked to the science and technology. So these are the alphabet, the medicinal and therapeutic properties of the plants, and the number systems like weighing and measuring systems like a calanda. In pre-Spanish Philippines, it is embedded in the way of life of the people. Scientific knowledge is observed in the way they plant their crops that provide them food, in taking care of animals to help them in their daily tasks and the full fruit productions. 
It is a way they interpret the movements of heavenly bodies to predict seasons and climates, and in organizing days into months and years. In Stone Age era, an archaeological finding shows that the modern men from Asian mainland first came overland on across narrow channels to live in Batangas and Palawan about 48,000 BC. They informed um, the settlement in Sulu, Davao, Zamboanga, Somor, Negros, Batangas, Laguna, Rizal, Bulacan, and Cagayan. They made simple tools and weapons of stone flakes and later developed method of sewing and polishing stones around 40,000 BC. By 1000 BC, the Near East stabilized once again and this period is so called the Iron Age. The Iron Age lasted from the 3rd century BC to 11th century AD. During this period, Filipinos were engaged in extraction, smelting, and refining of iron from ores until the importation of cast iron from Sarawak and later from China. They learned to weave cotton, make glass ornaments, and cultivate lowland rice and dike fields of terrace fields utilizing spring water in mountains regions. They also learned to build boats for trading purposes. While in 10th century AD, Filipinos from Butuan were trading with Champa in Vietnam and those from Ma'i or Mindoro with China as noted in Chinese records containing several references to the Philippines. The people of Mai and San Shu in Palawan traded bee wax, cotton, pearls, coconut heart mats, and etc. Filipinos were already engaged in activities and practices related to science forming primitive or first wave of technology. When the colonization still exists of the Philippines, it was contributed to growth of science and technology in the archipelago. The Spanish was introduced as formal education and founded scientific institution. So this code was so called as Spanish colonial era. There are parish schools were established where religion, reading, writing, arithmetic, and music was taught. The study of medicine in the Philippines was given priority in the Spanish era. Especially in the later years, the Spanish is also contributed to the field of engineering in the islands of constructing government buildings, churches, roads, bridges, and forts. And the Spanish colonial era, which is the biology, is given focus. Sanitation and more advanced methods of agriculture was taught to the natives. Spanish is also established colleges and universities in the archipelago, including the oldest existing university in Asia, which is the University of Santo Tomas. Trade was given more focus by the Spaniards' colonial authorities due to the prospects of big profits. When the American period exists, the progress of science and technology in the Philippines continued under American rule of the islands. On July 1, 1901, the Philippine Commission established the Bureau of Government Laboratories, which was placed under the Department of Interior. On October 26, 1905, the Bureau of Government Laboratories was replaced by the Bureau of Science. The Bureau of Science became the primary research center of the Philippines until World War II. And during this period, it was inclined towards agriculture, food processing, forestry, medicine, and pharmacy. It is not much focus was given on the development of industrial technology due to free trade policy with the United States which nurtured an economy geared towards agriculture and trade. All in all, compared to the American period, Science and technology was more modernized and prioritized than the Spanish period does, as primarily focused on research for the tropical disease, agriculture, food processing, forestry, medicine, and pharmacy. During Carlos P. Garcia's presidency, the government commissioned Frank Ko Chu to survey the states of science and technology in the Philippines. Chu was a Filipino doctor and a professor who has made a name in the field of medical research in the U.S. 
After truth assessment and recommendation, the Congress passed the Science Act of 1958, a bill seeking to integrate and intensify scientific development in the country, to foster invention, and more importantly, to provide funds for such activities. The bill also created the National Science Development Board, or NSDB, the government's arm on all science matters. Consequently, NSDB's chairman would be the president's science and technology advisor. In other hand, in 1982, under the Marcos administration, the NSDB was renamed the National Science and Technology Authority or NSTA. The revamp, through the underlying modifications to the agency's functions, gave the NSTA broader policy-making and program-implementing functions, with the vision of a competent and competitive science and technology community with a social conscience. And lastly, the post-Commonwealth era. In 1986, during Corazon Aquino's presidency, the National Science and Technology Authority was replaced by the Department of Science and Technology, giving science and technology a representation in the cabinet. In August 8, 1988, Corazon Aquino created the Presidential Task Force for Science and Technology, which came up with the first Science and Technology Master Plan or STMP. The goal of STMP was for the Philippines to achieve newly industrialized country status by the year 2000. Corazon Aquino said that science and technology development should be on the top three priorities of the government to implement the development plan they have made. The other thing is the DOST or Kagawara ng Kaagham at Teknolohiya, more popularly known as the DOST, is an executive department of the Philippine government responsible for providing direction and coordination to all activities in the country related to science and technology. The country's premier science body is also tasked to formulate policies and programs that will contribute to the overall national development. And also, the DOST is currently headed by Secretary Australia F. Alabastro. There is an executive order number 128. It also said that the DOST shall provide central direction, leadership, and coordination of scientific and technological efforts and ensure that the results are geared and utilized in area of maximum economic and social benefits for the people. And that ends our discussion to the historical antecedents of science and technology in the Philippines. Thank you for being with me and stay safe.